All right, we welcome to month three. I am super excited. Like I said, I love working with hexes, so let's get started. This is not too bad. There's a little bit to match up, but the more we practice with it, the better it will get. Uh, and I, I will say I made the first block. Here, I'm going to grab it for you. Um, I always try to sew one first before I do this. That way I know what you do. So I made the first block and I actually sewed together wrong the first time. So I had to get Jack out. Like I said, I sew just like y'all do. Well, some of y'all are better than me. I'll freely admit that. But I do like how some of the points came out and not so much the other ones. But you know what? I am not going to fuss over it because everything else looks really, really good. And overall, in the scheme of things, it's not that bad. So that is what the blocks are going to look like. So much fun. Make sure. So to get started, make sure you have your month three pack and your gravity pattern book. Grab your swatch sheet. Cause like I said, I've already got it done. Grab your swatch sheet. And this month we're going to use the hex and more ruler. So grab your hex and more ruler. Um, you'll also want a straight, just your regular straight ruler that you use. I actually am loving this so tight um, ruler cutting system. It's absolutely amazing. And I love that there are sponsors. They're just really wonderful people to work with. And they have really, really great products. If you haven't tried any of their things, they have um, really strong little magnets. And this is the all new cutting system not required just something really really nice to have okay so make sure you have this make sure you have your little bag with your triangles together we are going to start cutting now this is on page 16 of your pattern book it is this block is called orbit we keep this handy because these are listed in the way the fabrics are cyan to azure pre breakers breakers in the center i want to make sure it looks pretty good because i had this upside down but i'm pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to go all right we are going to get started the first thing we really need to do is label these which ones we're going to use because it we're cutting two different shapes. So this first one is really, really light. I want this to go for some of the outer ones. Yeah. So the top one for me, cyan is actually going to be F and turquoise. The second one is going to be C for me. You choose, you choose you. Now the rest of these, it's the darkest one. So A, hold on, that light one, do I want that one to be in? I think I'm going to change my mind. Nice for an erasable pen, kind of. I want the pull one to be C and then A. So this dark one is A and then this next dark one, breakers, is B. We used that for C. So this Capri can be. I think I want this one to be D and then turquoise to be E. All right. So now that we've determined, and don't get confused because this is still, we're working with cyan first, right? So now we're going to start cutting. Now we know what we can cut from this. We don't, I don't necessarily need that anymore. Pin down, put the swatch sheet to the side. All right. First one. F. These are triangles. So what I'm going to do, you start by measuring your block. You remember how I've been talking. 
if you measure both sides and cut to your longest side. This is slightly under 10 inches, so I'm going to turn it this way. This one is a full 10 inches, so I'm going to cut my strips this direction. All right. So F is triangles. We're not starting with the hexes. So what I'm going to do is line it up. It's a pretty straight edge there. And cut according to your pattern book. You do need to cut two of these strips for the triangles. All right. And this we have left over. I go ahead and take care of all my little things that I have to do with that strip that was left over that we're not going to use. That way I can keep track as I go. Oops. I put a little glue on this, the paper here and I am putting that on there. And then I am using actually the hex and more ruler kind of tied in here to cut my triangle out. We're cutting a lot of triangles, but for this one, this is the pillow triangle. So we'll cut this real quick. And I always am kind of, there we go. And I'm going to set this up here to the side because I don't want to lose it and scraps in the scrap bin. All right, you need four triangles from here. You can cut triangles with the super side kick, but since we're already going to be using the hex and more for the hexes, you can also cut triangles from the hex and more. So we're just going to cut it from the hex and more. I actually start with this end and just line up the bottom with the triangle trim. Then I turn this around, turn the ruler around, line up. There's one triangle. Oops, I missed that little end there. Turn the ruler around. It's not a whole lot of waste with these triangles. Cut again. One more time. So I can get three triangles from each row that we've cut with plenty left over. Not for another triangle, but plenty of leftover that you don't need. All right. So there's one, two, three. Now, one thing that I am doing on this that is very helpful and worth the effort is I'm going ahead and cutting off the notches on all of these you only have to do it on eight triangles total and yes we have to cut one more triangle but I'm gonna go ahead and cut these before I forget because sometimes I forget and then I start going to sew and I'm like oh I need to cut those notches it makes it so helpful and this time it really will make it helpful to have these notches. And when we start sewing, you'll see how much that helps. So take those few extra minutes and cut those notches out. One side automatically gets cut when you're doing the triangles, but go ahead and trim those other sides up and you will thank me in the end. It will make your life easier not only in helping match up when you're sewing the sides together, but also when matching up seams, it's helpful then as well. Okay, all you need is one more triangle. So, and I like to leave, if I'm gonna have scraps, I like to have bigger pieces. So we'll cut that, turn it around, turn this around, because I don't wanna cut towards myself. Cut that triangle. And then you've got a nice big piece like this left over. The triangles take longer to cut than the hexes. All right, trim these corners. All right, so this capri color is done. I'm gonna put this in the scrap bin. All right, so our second color E 
is a hexi. So bring the second color over. Measure it. This side's a little short. This side is a full 10 inches. So we're going to cut to this side, strip to this side. This strip takes this full ruler width. So I'm just going to line it up, make sure I'm getting a nice cut on it. All right, and we cut our strip. This is our leftover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take care of my scrap and my triangle. Bring this over here. Make a little glue line. Stick it on. Now I know what that is. Grab the hex in there. Cut my triangle. It's just nice to go ahead and get all of this done right when you're cutting then you don't forget and then you go back sorry i hit that my uh my elbow needs the space put that to the side now we've got the scraps all right easy peasy easy all right so you're this is a six and a half inch you line up the top line that says six and a half and then make sure your point on this side doesn't extend past the fabric. Like that right there is extending past that little point. Pull that back and make sure you're in the point. And if you want to really make sure, just this is the only thing you're cutting from this. You can put it in the center. But I like to kind of put it on that edge because like I said, my scraps, I like to keep as large as possible. To hold this steady, if you've got the magnet, the so tight system, you can put a couple of these on to really hold it nice and steady. Oh, I'm sorry, my head hit the, the camera. Or when you're holding, holding this, I gotta get it a little back centered again. Leave one of your fingers off the ruler to press down, it kind of gives it, it grind, grounds it a little bit. So cut that side and cut that side. That is your extra you do not need. Okay, now I'm going to do it without the magnet so that you can see, you don't have to turn it around. So then you line up your cut lines, line up the bottom, line up the top and these two sides. I've got that pinky off that ruler. Cut and cut. And then you have your perfect hexi. Very, very simple to make. I'll put that in the scraps. That's all we need from that color, the hexi. All right, next color is D, and this is also a hexi. All right, pull it over. This side's a little short of 10. This side's exactly 10. This is the side I'm going to cut to. It takes the entire width of this ruler. These are the little magnets that help keep it steady. And we cut that strip. All right, let's take care of our back end business. I just used a small little ruler that I have, so it's not intrusive. Okay, get our sheet all set up, everything nice and handy right at your fingertips. Put it on the sheet. We are three in. One more thing to do, cut our little triangle. And see, I leave my fingers outside of that ruler. I didn't there, but leave my fingers out. Cut the little triangle. It goes in the scraps. All right. Line up your hex and more. Again, make sure you're not sticking way out right there. 
pull that back in, make sure it touches the fabric. Again, if you don't feel comfortable, put it in the center and cut off both sides. It's, you're gonna be cutting both sides anyway. All right. Okay, you don't use the magnets. Put your finger off the ruler a little bit. I put it right on the edge where it touches the ruler and the mat. And it keeps it nice and straight, doesn't slide too much. But if you have the so tight system, you don't have to have magnets on the template. You can put it on there with this mat and it still stays steady. I don't think that got it on that end. And cut your two little sides. And you have a hexi. And then you just keep going. So the next one is Breakers B. This one is also a hex hexagon. Just from the way the fabrics are coming out, this is my 10 inch side. All right, we're going to line this up. Pretty easy cutting this time. Nothing too fancy. Let's get some of these scraps out of the way. Keep a little bin to throw my scraps in and I organize them later when it gets full. <laughs> okay. A glue line. And put that in. That one's a little bit bigger. I don't care. It's just my swatches. All right. Cut our triangle. It's plug and chug. But it only takes just a few minutes to get all this done. So if you're making them all at one time, you're probably only spending an hour or so making your blocks. If you just want to spend a few minutes one day and about 30 minutes one day and 30 minutes the next day, you can break it up. All right, turn this around this way. I was thinking of triangles. Line up my fabrics. Make sure that I haven't extended the fabric over this edge. Make sure that finger's sticking out. Okay, we got it good. Cut a little deeper than I wanted to, but that's all right. It's my scraps line up on the bottom on the top and both of these sides make sure you've got that and cut both of those edges nice hexagon all right next one pull pull is c so this is C is triangles. So we're going to turn it this way and cut our first line. Remember, this is triangles. These aren't hexes. So you've got to make sure that you're cutting the right length on these. And you need two strips. One and oops, here we go. Two. Set those to the side for a minute. Take care of our back end work. If you're wondering how to keep them organized while you do it, this is kind of the way to do that. Grab the hex and more. Trim my triangles. So I hope y'all are all enjoying the sew along. I'm really enjoying doing this. I'm having a lot of fun with it, believe it or not. I know there's been a few little hiccups, but I hope everybody's kind of smooth sailing now. And it's that way with, um, with everything. So I start with my hex and more down first. And I go all the way to that tip. I want to get everything I can out of the strip. So I cut it. I line it up with the tip right there. 
and cut across. And instead of going back down on me like that, what I'm going to do is turn this around and turn my hex and more around. Line it up with the side, line it up at the top there as well. Nice and tight. And so that cut that line, sew that line, cut that line. You're going to be sewing it. <laughs> then flip the ruler, line it up right here. And cut, flip the ruler, line it up and cut. There's your three. Let's, I know the cutting video is getting a little long, but I really, some people really are struggling with the cutting. So I want to make sure that you see it done several times and you can kind of, we're doing the notches because trust me, you will thank me for it. It really comes in handy on this, this particular block. Get those nice little, those nice matchups. And I'll show you that in just a second when we get done. Okay, one more here. We cut one more triangle and then we're done with the triangles. We have one more hex to do and then we're done cutting the main shapes. Okay. Line this up, just one triangle, because you need four. There, flip over, flip your ruler. All right, throw those and these little notches I will throw in the trash. Okay, our other four see right yes yes that's what i decided i'm sticking with it i'm almost thinking i should have done it another way but i'm going with it it's going to look great okay last one azure is eight so we are going to put it here cut this way Sorry, I've got something popping up. Let me get that done. All right, so we're going to put that to the side and we are done with that large one right now. One more kind of little cut for the background. And our swatch page is done. Yay! Hex and more ruler. Whoops, I'm upside down. Last triangle for the pillow. Can you imagine cutting this at the end for all those little triangles for the uh, pillow? This is going to be way easier. If you cut as you go, then it is all done and you can get there and have fun sewing at that time. All right. This the first, the one hex. Make sure you're lining up for the right, um, the right size here. Okay, in, that one's done, pull it around, line it up on the top, the bottom, and the two sides here, trim and trim. And if you feel like you've trimmed a little bit, you can see here the, sim the seam allowance, it's a dotted line right here. Even if it's a little bit off, it's you're going to catch it in your seam allowance, so don't worry about it. All right. Now let's put this together a little bit. I'm going to set that to the side. How you do this, you take this one and we're going to put this one here and this one here. Gonna go like can't see it real well like that like that and then we are going to take this one 
and you're going to put one of these on it and one of these on it. Again, you choose whatever way you want. I'm going to move this up so I can get the other ones in here. Okay. This one is going to get one of these and then one of these. And this one is going to get one of these and one of these like this. So you sew it here to here, here to here, here to here, and then sew these together. But we'll get on that next week. That is your cutting with your Hex and More. And thanks to Sew Tight for being our sponsor. And one of you lucky ones are going to get one of these systems um, in one of our monthly giveaways. I haven't decided what month yet. It might be in the middle, right? So that we're all good and everyone has joined and we're in a flow. All right. Next week, we will sew these together and it comes together really quickly. Not so many pieces. All right. See y'all next week. Happy cutting.